Speaker, sir, uh, it is proper that I should r uh, remind the House that on Wednesday, 10th July 2019, at 16.20 hours, following a request made by the service manager of SCOMAT Limited, situated at Gree Walls Lane Pie, a team from the Anti-Drug and Smuggling Unit, ADSU, proceeded to the location of this company. I'm informed by the Commissioner of Police that A, the ADSU officers were informed by the manager of the company that on the same day at around 15.30 hours, while two employees were inspecting the engine of a wheel loader imported by the company from Brazil, they found three black kit bags which were concealed in the engine compartment near the exhaust muffler of the said vehicle. The bags were handed over for safekeeping to the store supervisor, who, while checking the free bags, came across several rectangular parcels, each containing sub suspicious substance. The three bags were handed over to ADSU officers, who opened them in the presence of the employees uh, on the spot at the moment, and at that moment, and the contents thereof were suspected to be dangerous drugs. An inquiry into the matter was immediately initiated by the ADSU and the exhibits were secured and sent to the Forensic Science Laboratory for examination. I am informed that in the course of the inquiry, the drugs secured from the free bags were identified as cocaine. The total weight of the drugs seized was 85 kilograms 166.8 grams of a street value amounting to 1.4 billion rupees. And I'm also informed that to date, statements from 18 persons, including employees of SCOMAT Limited, have been recorded by ADSU officers. So far, no evidence has been obtained that could lead to the arrest of any person and that could also uh, shed further light on the circumstances of this discovery and help in the investigation. But uh, the honorable members uh, may be interested to learn that according to further information obtained from the Commissioner of Police, the police inquiry was able to determine the itinerary of the wheel loader from the port of embarkation to its destination. According to intelligence, uh, the vehicle was embarked in Brazil for Mauritius. The wheel loader was offloaded in Morocco and re-embarked for shipment to Mauritius. I'm also given to understand that ADSU has liaised with um, Interpol as well as the Brazilian and Moroccan authorities for further intelligence that could have provided a lead in the inquiry. However, the exercise has proved extremely complex as it requires the collaboration of a multiplicity of international agencies. In view of the complexity of the investigation in this case, I am informed that the Commissioner of Police is submitting an interim report to the Director of Public Prosecution for advice as to the way forward. Mr. Speaker, <coughs> Mr. Speaker so the Acting Prime Minister has given a almost a copycat reply what the Prime Minister has said. Can we ask the Acting Prime Minister, why is the inquiry taking so long? It's more than three years since investigation started. Why is it taking so long? Where is your unflinching commitment to a war on drugs? If this is unflinching commitment, let us hear the reply. Is the question over? Yes. I, I would invite the honourable gentleman through you, Mr. Speaker, not to get excited. That it would be bad for his health. Uh, okay. Yes, but we 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 we, 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 we can. No, you're repeating your question. No, you're repeating the same facts. No, you're very romantic. Keep quiet. Yes. Um, 
beyond the political posturing of the honourable gentleman, no, Mr. Come Speaker. On. What is happening now? <clears throat> Let him answer. Let him give his reply. Mr. You cannot bully. You cannot <clears throat> bully a minister. <clears throat> yeah, but he should give his reply. You, you're not interested in that reply? Are you sure? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It would seem that for some, when they are in opposition, question time is a matter of intimidation and bullying. And I'm afraid this does not work. We can certainly have a proper, courteous and polite exchange in the course of question time. Now, in this particular case, I have taken the pain to answer the Honourable Gentleman as well as Honourable Nagalingam, who asked the same question, I have provided all the information that is at hand as provided for by the police. And we are well aware that in order not to, um, should I say, destabilize, interfere uh, with a police investigation, of course, we cannot go into each and every detail. This is a case where drug has been found in Mauritius on a vehicle imported from overseas. The police have taken statements from all persons who could conceivably have some relevant information to offer. The police has been in contact with all the international agencies and we have been able, the police has been able, to establish where this uh, whatever it's called, excavator, wheel loader, came from, how it traveled to Mauritius, where it transited, and how it was disembarked here in Mauritius and taken to Pai. Now, the investigation at this point in time has not yielded any further information. And the honorable gentleman who has been in government, as well as uh, honorable Nagalingam, might realize that such cases are exceedingly difficult to solve. So to be committed to fight with all our means against the drug scourge, and I think the number of seizures over the last couple of years testifies to the will of government, to the will of this prime minister, to the will of the police, to protect our population and to unmask and act against drug importers and drug peddlers. However, that does not mean that we live in a perfect world where each and every case can instantaneously be solved. Now, in this particular case, on the basis of the information yielded by the investigation, as provided for by law, the Commission of Police proposes to refer the, the interim report to the Director of Public Prosecution for him to advise as to the way forward. And I hope the Honourable Gentleman will see no objection to that. Speaker. My concern is the concern of one and all. And I'm glad that the Acting Prime Minister has stated the inquiry is still ongoing. My concern is also with the Atsu. Is he aware that in the past, exhibits kept at Atsu headquarters have disappeared and replaced by substitute like the boost? This is why I'm saying these drugs finally ended up in the streets to maim, to kill our kids. So this Just is speak. an assumption. Too. It's not an assumption. I'm saying the truth. No, don't discuss with me. <laughs> don't discuss with me. <laughs> don't discuss. The good part of it that is mm. you allow some laughter. <laughs> now, no, he's no aware debate, of it. No comments. Mr. Speaker, let, let I, I, I do concede that the honourable gentleman is much more aware than I am of what took place prior to 2014. Uh, but, but the question does not relate to the past. And the honorable gentleman, who is a seasoned parliamentarian, quite apart from realizing that he should not constantly interrupt 
the person who is trying to answer his question. The honorable gentleman should be aware that supplementary questions are meant to elucidate the question asked. So if the honorable gentleman would wish to have information pertaining to past cases, he is most welcome to put to, to present a proper question, and I'm sure the Prime Minister will address his concerns. Monsieur le Président, le Premier ministre suppléant parle de 85 kilos de cocaïne. Alors qu'en 2019, la communication de la police avait parlé de 95 kilos de cocaïne. Deuxième petite chose que je voudrais savoir du Premier ministre suppléant, il concède lui-même, après trois ans, 2019 à 2022, que l'enquête n'a pas été aboutie, que personne jusqu'ici n'a été arrêté. Donc, trois ans après, Monsieur le Premier ministre suppléant, peut-on conclure que les trafiquants de drogue à la hauteur de 1,6 milliard de roupies sont toujours dans la nature et continuent de nuire à nos enfants et à la famille mauricienne. Peut-on conclure à cela quelle, quelle était le, la, la question finale Peut-on conclure que les trafiquants de drogue sont toujours dans la nature Bon, alors si... D'abord, d'abord, le... Monsieur le député attire mon attention sur le fait que je me suis référé à une quantité de 85, 85 kilos, alors que la police aurait euh, antérieurement parlé de 95 kilos. Je n'ai pas, pas ces renseignements. On m'a communiqué le chiffre de 85 kilos. En ce qui concerne euh, les responsables, il doit bien y avoir un responsable. Il y a bien un responsable quelque part. Ce responsable se trouve-t-il... Pardon, je, je me permets d'éclairer euh, l'Assemblée nationale. Je comprends que 95 kilos was inclusive of packaging. Hmm, voilà, voilà la différence selon les renseignements qui m'ont été fournis. Euh, si, si vous avez des renseignements, parce qu'il est important qu'on sache la vérité. Si vous avez d'autres renseignements, il est de votre devoir de nous euh, communiquer l'information. Et je vois que le Premier ministre, Monsieur le Premier ministre, le 7 juillet 2020, s'était référé, je cite, « The free bags were found to contain a total amount of 92.5 kilos » including also the wrappings. Donc c'est probablement la réponse à cette différence euh, que vous avez relevée avec raison. Donc il y a bien un responsable. Est-ce que ce responsable, il est au Brésil Est-ce qu'il est au Maroc Est-ce qu'il est à Maurice Nul ne le sait à ce stade. Est-ce que cette drogue était destinée à Maurice Ou est-ce qu'il y a eu quelque part parmi les responsables erreur Nul ne le sait. L'enquête s'est forcée d'abord de retracer la route qu'aurait suivi donc ce véhicule pour parvenir à Maurice. La police tente toujours d'obtenir de l'étranger des renseignements quant à ce qui s'est passé au moment de l'embarquement ou du transit. Mais à Maurice, à ce stade, nous n'avons pas plus d'informations. Et c'est pour cela, comme le prévoit la loi, que tout le dossier va être référé au DPP pour euh, que nous soyons mieux instruits quant à la voie à suivre, que la police soit mieux instruite.